Hello, welcome to a Christmas special here on Hughes Nursery and today we're going to be making a nice pork and apple stuffing which traditionally will uh, go into a 12 to 14 pound turkey. So I'll just bring you a little closer to see all of the nice tasty ingredients you need. So this is everything you need. You need two pounds of sausage meat, um, some sage that you've picked out from the garden. We've also got three large apples here from our orchard. These actually made to large. And we've got some onions as well. Now with the apples, you might want to cut them up into eight pieces before you grind them using this uh, nice traditional grinder. And for the onions, cut them into six. Um, we also need to make six heaped table six, four to six heaped tablespoons of breadcrumbs and then uh, some salt and pepper. So first we're going to core some apples with this. Like that. See how easy this is. Like that. Now I'll just slice the apples. And here we're just using the apple slicer. Look how easy it is to do that. And it takes out the remaining core as well. So just carefully just go around, pressing it all out, and take out any bit left of the core. And that's just how easy it is to slice it using one of these things. Now we're just gonna grind it all up. So select a bit of apple you want. Like that. And then use the next slice just to push it down. I mean you could use a food process processor but this is just a bit more fun. And when you put more work into your food you'll enjoy it more. Put in the onions. Now put in the sage, we've removed the whole stem, okay, and then use the onions to help push it down like that. You see it coming out nicely on the other side, all nice and minced up. Just break bread into, you know, very small bits. This is some quite old bread, but it'll make really nice bread crumbs, okay. So just break a bit. And then we're going to whiz it up. To so fill it up level, now this is actually a coffee grinder. So um, we're making use of several different things in this uh, cooking recipe. Okay, so almost there, just bring it up level. Now the good thing about um, this band, see, they have it, dropped a couple showing you. Uh, but when you are actually putting it in, there's no chance of cutting your fingers off because there's a safety mechanism with a button. Uh, it's only when the cap is on tight that you can actually that you can actually use it. So let's just do it and shake it around a bit as well. And yeah. See, it's almost there, just a couple of bits, but yeah, looking good. So, here's all the mixture, and now just the breadcrumbs, add it in, very nice and easy. Okay, now add lots of salt and pepper. God, be generous with this because, you know, it's going to go far. And salt as well. God, put it around like that, okay. 
You don't have to add that much, okay? And now it's time to put our secret ingredient, which is uh, some homemade cider. And you can check out my cider video. Just search on YouTube um, how to make cider, and it'll be like the first or second result. Okay, so just pop that in. And now you just got to grind it all in with your hands and mix it up. So make sure you've washed them. And, uh, yeah, mix it all up nicely. We've got it all mixed up, and you've got to divide it equally between its two bread tins. Okay, this might get a bit messy. Just put it in and press it down like that. And you don't need to grease it because of the fat of the pork, which will save you a bit of time. Okay. So now this one, just place it in like that. Might have to take a bit out of the other one. But yeah. Okay, you stand here, just um, going to put the finishing touches on this. You just want to make it look a bit like a loaf of bread, so you can sort of shape it quickly. Okay, that's ready to go in. Again, with this one, just pop your fingers around the edges. Smooth the top. Okay, when it goes in the oven, you want to leave it in there for about an hour, and you'll find the sides separate. It moves towards the middle, and you'll have lots of fat. Um, you can drain the fat off. Um, into a bowl that can take heat and when that hardens you can either have that on bread which is very nice but not very healthy or you can make seed cakes for birds by adding uh, wild bird seed and putting it into yogurt pots and tying it onto your bird table. Okay, you want to put it in for about an hour, gas mark for 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. I said leave it in for about an hour um, if it's not come away from the sides, um, you need to leave it in for a bit longer. Check it, leave it for another 15 minutes or so. Right, so we have it, here we have it. We just pulled it out of the oven. It took about an hour and a quarter to cook. And now we're going to try it. It smells really, really tasty. Um, but this here is a Christmas pyramid, and it's actually the German tradition to put it up um, on the Advent and Christmas Eve. Uh, it's quite clever how the candles make it move. But yeah, let's um, have a taste of this really nice marine stuffing. So here it is out. Now you're usually just going to serve it, you maybe cut it up and give a slice each. But uh, just going to open it up. Looks really nice. You can see the steam against the light looking really nicely. And then, mmm. Lots of flavour, taste the sweetness of the apple, nice um, amount of meat. You can, no, you can make this as a leaf, um, a, a meat loaf, and then you can also possibly even make a burger out of this. But yeah, really tasty. I definitely recommend you doing this, and you know, uses up some old bread. So all in all, a really good thing to cook for Christmas. So I hope you really have a nice Christmas. Uh, stay safe, uh, you, my friends in Canada, with all snowstorms. But yeah. See you again soon. Goodbye. Please subscribe to Hughes Nursery and save a koala today.